Welcome. In front of me, I have the new Samsung Galaxy M15, and I'll go over unboxing along with a quick look at this uh, device from Samsung. In any case, based on the packaging, and probably already guess there is no charger included in a box. That's because Samsung cares so freaking much about their the environment. Uh, that's why they produced yet another model of a device M nowadays 15. Uh, so that's like what a hundred devices this year fantastic anyway I might be exaggerating but it's still just let's be honest it's bullshit caring about the environment it's just it's cheaper not to add charger in a box and have you buy it separately now, Samsung obviously considers their user base to be uh, not the brightest based on their uh, the poorest excuse I have ever heard but in any case uh, inside we just get some paperwork and charger or charging cable sorry there's no charger obviously uh, so yeah I'm not even gonna bother opening that up and and here we get the phone which again Samsung cares so much about the device that's why this feels like a budget device because you know it's what you produce when you care about the environment budget garbage that no one wants now this on top of uh, the fact that it's budget and uh, seems like the device that has been released by other companies about half a decade ago uh, this has not been released half a decade ago no this has been released in 2024 march 9th uh, and it just the size of this phone the bezels and everything about it just feels cheap um i want to point out one more thing uh, just at a first glance uh, the display right here is recessed a little bit further than the actual frame of the phone so the frame protrudes as you can see a little bit over the top of the display which just makes it feel even shittier than it already is on top of that the bezels right here on the back uh, the plastic frame uh, and the back that just kind of goes the back again is a bit more recessed compared to the frame so you can kind of feel the edge of the frame catching your finger so it it's not the best feeling again adding to that uh, absolute garbage feel uh, so yeah anyway um, let's talk about the device and starting off with the display we have a six and a half inch display with a 1080p resolution so that's actually surprising it's 1080 by 2340 it's a super AMOLED display with 90 Hz refresh rate and a brightness of about 800 nits it boasts an 84% screen to body ratio with uh, roughly 400 pixels per inch Continuing on into the cameras at the back, which we have by the looks triple camera setup. So keep in mind, most companies just add triple cameras, even though it, it should never be classified as such. So let's see what Samsung adds here. All oh, right, uh, it's a dual camera setup at best. Um, so we have a 50 megapixel f1.8 wide sensor, then we get a 5 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide, and then we get a sticker camera called 2 megapixel. Uh, macro now the reason uh, I'm saying it's a two camera setup not a three is because a two megapixel uh, macro is going to be outperformed by the main 50 megapixel sensor at two times zoom giving you higher resolution and quality photo so why is there a macro that gets outperformed by the main, main sensor in this case just to fill up the number of cameras because everything looks better apparently with uh, odd number three anyway uh, with those cameras you can record videos at 1080p 30 frames which is absolute garbage and then um, with the front we got a selfie camera which is a 13 megapixel wide sensor and that can also do 30 megapixel at 1080p uh, 30 mega 30 frames at 1080p sorry now interestingly enough inside we get a 6000 million power battery which adds to this chunky design of this device at least we have a pretty hefty battery in here uh, but, uh, typical Samsung tradition, it charges um, slower than devices that have been released a decade ago. So this is a 25 watt charging speed of a device uh, and they don't even come with the charger. Because they care so much about the environment. Um, so yeah, this device charges at a uh, just slow ass pace uh, that is outperformed by a five-year-old device or a six-year-old device uh, that costs uh, most likely less than this right now and believe me this will function better than whatever this is I don't even need to check I can already see bet on it 
Um, in any case, uh, this device is being powered surprisingly, but not not by like a super weak processor, but it is a Dimensity 6100 plus, so it's closer towards the budget range rather than mid. Um, it also comes with relatively low amount of RAM at base model, which is a hundred four gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. The storage is fine. The RAM is a little bit on the lower end. And let's see if we have any kind of expandable storage right here. It actually looks like we might, so that's pretty good. Come on. Yep, there we go. So at the back side, we have an SD card tray that doubles also as a SIM card tray. Uh, so yeah, we can pop in our cards in here and expand the storage past the default 128. Now going uh, up with uh, the specs, we have uh, 128 with 6 gigs, 128 with 8 gigs, and 256 with 8 gigs. For some stupid reason, they left uh, more storage at the highest end uh, version with 8 gigs of RAM. Um, instead of allowing you to, I don't know, maybe go with 256.6, which would have been kind of probably a sweet spot in terms of performance along with, uh, with price. But obviously, that's not allowed. We get to uh, just milk you dry off of your money. So 256 is lagged beh like behind 8 gigabytes of RAM, which uh, you will never need for a device that is running with a uh, Dimensity 6100 plus processor. Fantastic. Also a candy bar, which can't really multitask all that well. Obviously this is designed to fleece you of your money. Uh, now, um, anything else interesting to say about this device? I'm saying it like there was anything interesting about it uh, altogether. Uh, but by the looks of it, no, there isn't. We do have side-mounted fingerprint sensor. We have a plastic build, so plastic frame, plus plastic back by the looks of it. Interestingly enough, uh, Samsung did manage to actually fit a headphone jack um, on here. Uh, so you can use that. And at the top, we just have a microphone, our power button, fingerprint, volume markers, SIM, SD tray, and yeah, that's about it. So, last thing that I want to check is the price which uh, GSM Arena isn't providing. So let me just kind of uh, search how much this device actually costs. Something tells me that it's not going to be priced reasonably, as it's Samsung. Amazon, let's see. Oh no, I want like... see why can't i find any price for it come on so yeah it's basically a 250 dollar device that uh, is supposed to cost about uh, 150 to maybe max 200 i would say so as always uh, samsung tax is added here um let's be honest i don't recommend this device I never would recommend Samsung devices. And uh, that being said, I was a Samsung user till not too long ago. Um, so I already have a disdain to it. And that disdain was caused by Samsung themselves and their shitty service. So I don't recommend going for this as their devices are overpriced and they don't offer enough to justify the increased price tag. And the fact that Samsung doesn't really have that much competition nowadays just allows them to do absolutely F all and continue to sell their uh, basically refreshed devices per year, claiming that they care about the environment while just producing 10 devices per month and, uh, and not including a charger even in it, uh, which I would argue is not really a complete package of a device if you can't having charge it. Um, now that being said, when it comes down to phones and better value for the money i would always recommend uh, the uh, poco lineup from xiaomi now i'm not sponsored by they're not sponsoring this or anything like that so don't worry i just genuinely think that their devices are good for what you get to pay and specifically the poco lineup other other ones not so much the poco is just always like the smash hit i would say and particularly i'm thinking about the f lineup so let's see Poco F5, uh, not Pro. So that device costs how much? Do you want to look at it? So it is actually a bit more expensive, like decently more expensive. So I guess that won't be necessarily the best 
option compared to this one as the F5, which I would be recommending cause nearly double the price. It is well worth the money, uh, I would argue. Uh, I just know that people that are looking for a thousand or $250 device, this obviously is not it. Uh, but I highly recommend looking at some other devices over this one as, as I know that there are different devices, uh, most likely even from the Poco lineup uh, themselves as well, uh, that will compete with this device at the same price range while offering you a significantly better value for the money with the device being just better in almost every single way. And at the end of the day, if your device can fa function faster and have better specs, obviously that's going to be better, specifically for the same price that you'd pay for something that is inferior. So with that being said, hopefully you found this video informative. Um, if you did, don't forget to smash like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.